came from and one level up flat and Fraser couldn't be prescribed a wheelchair until we had accessible property um, so they wouldn't actually give him it. My son has a muscle disease, do you know, he's going to get worse. Overexertion is going to make him worse it's, and it, it impacts every aspect of his life. It shouldn't be difficult for children with muscle wasting diseases to get to their bed at night. I was super lucky with this. Fraser had a sleeping disorder at the time so we did have an entitlement to a third bedroom for medical needs. I was kind of bidding on anything that would have allowed Fraser to have more independence. Um, so yeah, I was, I was really fortunate that a three bedroom bungalow did come up um, and we were kind of top of the list for it. It is a whole family situation, do you know, it's difficult for Fraser's little brother to have a big brother that's got a disability, he doesn't know any different, he's always had him and he's always had him the same, but having his own bedroom is important for him as well because he does get upset, he does get frustrated, he does need time alone um, and I think it's important that he always has that because I think as Fraser grows up every room in my house is now becoming a little bit more of Fraser and a little bit more clinical. It's a difficult life to accept and to live um, and for Robbie to have a space that's free of that life is important to him and I think as he grows up it'll become more important to him. If I didn't live here, I, I couldn't even imagine, to be honest, um, what position that would leave me in. One week I, I put my back out and there was no possible way that I could have lifted Fraser into and out of the bath safely. And I think, you know, we're fortunate that we have got the wet room there that Fraser can go in. Um, but I couldn't imagine being a single parent and having that responsibility and that duty of care and not being able to carry that out.